What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to install solar power in the camper shell. If you do any off-grid or dispersed camping, you know how hard it is to find reliable power. This hopefully will let us stay out a little bit longer. I'm super excited about this project. Let's get after it. As far as a, this is the, all the equipment we should be using today, I decided to, I'm going to use hose clamps to mount the mounting base to the cargo rack. This is a wiring harness for LED light bars. The reason I got it is because of these right here. These are quick disconnects that are waterproof, and I wanted an outdoor disconnect because I wanted to be able to disconnect the panel at the panel, excuse me, the solar panel, and pull it off when not in use. And then obviously terminal connections, all the stuff we need to do that and then my cable organizing equipment so heat shrink some flex tubing to be able to organize the cable keep it all nice and pretty so it's not in the way inside the camper and then just grommets for passing through and cable clamps that's all the equipment i'm going to be using as usual i'm going to post a link to everything that i use in this on amazon i picked the connector up on amazon for about 20 bucks panel came off Amazon. Like I said, I'll put all of that, I'll link to all those in the description of the video. First thing I'm going to do is connect the quick connect to the panel. Uh, notice this is brown and blue. It doesn't have a red or black. It doesn't indicate positive or negative. I read through the instructions. Polarity is important on this, but on the panel, it will indicate it's got an error code if the polarity is wrong. And when you hook up the solar, even if it's hooked up wrong here, I can just swap those two on there and everything should be fine. So let's get this connected. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the heat shrink on. Make sure you put that on before you make your connections because you won't get it on afterwards. So a slight miscalculation, the heat shrink is not big enough to go over the connection points. That's okay. I'm just going to run some electrical tape down it and then put the uh, cable tubing over it. Just want to make sure this is good and sturdy because this is going to be outside of the vehicle. So, you know, driving around in the woods, you got a chance of it getting hung up, pulled out. I just want to protect it. All right, connection's made. We've got the quick connect end on there. Got the protective tubing all over it. Now I'm gonna set this to the side, hop up on top, start mounting the bracket for it so then we can put the whole thing in. I'm gonna put the bracket on here. The panel will secure right here. That will allow me to tilt it over or all the way down and get it good and secured in here. Just gonna take some hose clamps, wrap them around. In the mounting hardware, the panel came with these little screws and wing nuts. So we're gonna put it on here and that will, that will allow us to tilt it whichever direction we need to to be able to get it directly in the sunlight so it'll charge.
Okay, wing nuts are mounted. So I'll show you. We can tilt the panel here. Or tilt it all the way over. To be able to grab sunlight wherever we need. I'll probably pad this, all this stuff later on, just so this doesn't bounce up and down whenever I'm driving. But until then, I'm gonna get it good and tightened down. And we'll go and start getting the wires run inside. So to get the wires, here's the back of the panel. I'll secure this up later once I figure out the full length or what I need from this. But I pulled the old light off of here. It wasn't working anyway. The wiring was messed up. I'm going to use the hole where it was wired to push this through, and then I'll come back and seal that later on. So now I'm going to get the wire prep to pull the inside to make up this connection. got the wire fed through and if you guys remember if you watched my last video I just put this rack in I left the PVC open on the end with those t-joints so I could run the wiring in it so let's see it's coming through there we're gonna take it right through here and then terminate it there I don't have my hardware in yet I'll pull that box out and show you guys here in just a second I'll set that up for the battery Got the wire pulled all the way through it's a little bit short but that's okay i've got some extra and i'll be able to use it to connect my control box is going to go right here okay wires run solar panels mounted now let's talk about the control box you've got the hookup for your solar panel hookup for your battery and then your load so if you want to run 12 volt lighting off there you can direct wire it and then you got two usb ports here so that is gonna go on that setup. I'm sure you're wondering what that little contraption is. Let me show you. Set this up, just real simple. Control panel is gonna go up here. It's gonna mount right there. That way I can wire everything in, get good access to it. It's good, free and clear. My deep cycle backup battery is gonna go right in here. And then everything will be set up in that back corner back there where you saw the wiring come in the reason i did that is i wanted to be able like i said i wanted everything to be modular so if i decided not to run the system i could pull it out and have all that space in there but if i'm going on a longer trip and i need the backup power then i can put everything in so all of it i can leave the wiring up but it's all set up where i can pull the panel and pull the battery if i need to so i'm fixing to go get the battery get it in here and start getting it wired battery slides down there I'm gonna go ahead and measure and make my connections now I'm not gonna make them up I'm gonna measure the connections so when I get back in there I can just wire everything up so we're hooking up the battery first I went ahead and made the connection in here you guys just saw that should be good now we're gonna go ahead and hook it up and see how it goes I don't know if you can tell on the screen Battery's hooked up. It's got the charging indicator and the light for load. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the solar. Okay, everything's hooked up. It's reading solar panel, reading battery, 
and read and load. So I'm gonna leave it running for a little while. I am gonna grab something. I'm gonna go grab a light to plug into the USB and see how it's doing power wise. And then I'm gonna leave it for a little while and see, oh, it looks like it's charging. Sweet. Okay, so it's just been a couple minutes. I went to go grab my light. It's already reading higher voltage than it was when I started. So it is charging the battery. Everything looks like it's hooked up good. Before, I'm gonna leave everything for a little while and make sure it's all running good before I dress up all the wiring. So I probably won't show you guys that in the video. But last thing I'm gonna check is make sure that we're getting power to the USB portion. So I've just got my little fun climate inflatable light. This thing's pretty handy, just an LED light. We're gonna plug it in here to the load side. Boom. Look at that. We got power, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. Drop the voltage a little bit. All right, so that went pretty well. It was a pretty easy process. I did have the polarity wrong on the solar panel when I first hooked it up and it just swapped it and everything started working great. It took me about 30 minutes. That actually went pretty easy. Um, so just to keep you guys updated, I do have a power inverter that's got a 110 plug on it that I'm going to plug into this later on. I just wanted to get this set up, get it going, get myself familiar before I started adding things to it and see how it worked. Um, that's it. I'm going to keep checking with it. I'll probably add some stuff later on, but I think that's good enough for today. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'll put a, I'll put all of the gear I used or all the solar panel and everything. I'll put a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching. I get some more videos coming your way.